Now I wanted to get into, uh, oh, I forgot what I called this scale. It's like an augmented chromatic. I think that's what I called it. So you really have a blank space every fourth fret. You play 9 out of 12 of the notes in the totality of the chromatic scale. So in A, it would be A, B flat, B. You skip C, go to C sharp, D, D sharp. You skip E, you go F, F sharp, G. You skip G sharp, and you go A. So you can kind of describe this scale as leaving out notes instead of what are the notes, what aren't the notes. Well, in this, it's just clusters of three notes. So I used this in Klamath Falls, in Klamath Falls Revisited. Then I discovered there's a seventh shape in here. Any shape you can create, any chord shape you can create with this scale, you can slide it up or down four frets and you're still in key, just the way the scale is built. That's why I kind of call it chromatic augmented. So in the key of A, one day I'm going to get that right. I'm going to get my right and my left right. Or not. Okay. We have an E flat and a G and a C sharp. They're all in key. even add uh, a B flat. What other kinds of chords can we build? Um, a. Obviously augmented. You might even be able to slide augmented shapes up two frets. Looks like it. Well, there's some interesting shapes here anyway. Let's see. Um, you'll be able to mirror on the G and the B strings you can mirror the shapes because it's sort of you know it's that thing about the G and the B they have a special relationship So anyway, the idea of the scale is more removing notes to, re to reiterate. It's about removing notes from a 12-tone scale. Just three notes and having four clusters of four equidistant. In the scale that I was playing around with in A, so you'd be missing C, C, E, and G sharp. Those would be the missing notes. Everything else would be, would be 
CEG sharp would be missing and everything else would be open. I mean, usable. Use that ball. So there's all kinds of scales you can make up. That's just one of them.